This morning's Coffee With is with Bob Vila. And the satellite interview is furnished by the National Pest Management Association. Bob Vila, welcome back to WJC in the Morning Edition. How are you? <laughs> It's all the Bob Vila fans. Hey, we're back, uh, and, and again, we're talking spring. We're talking bugs. Mankind is losing the war against other creatures on this earth. Thoughts, comments, observations? <laughs> I choose not to look at it as war, but it is a confrontation. And yes, yeah, spring is here, and this is the time when you want to be concerned and aware of any problems you might have with your house. If you've got, uh, you know, gaping holes in the sidewall, you're probably aware of that. But you might not be aware that you've got little super highways for bugs just in small cracks around the foundation. Even something as inconsequential as a hole that may have been drilled to let the cable in for cable TV a few years ago. These are all spots that need to be cocked up and closed in so that you don't let the, bu the bugs get into the house. You know, that was a great observation about the cable TV hole because, I mean, let's just say you've, you've been in your home, I'm just going to say a decade. There's been, I'll guarantee you there's been a rewiring at some point where the phone company has been out the exact same deal. All my junction boxes are... Yep. Or I know exactly where they are and I know where the wires are. That's a, that's a great point. Yeah, if you own your home, your responsibility is to take a good, close look at it. You might have junction boxes. You might have, you know, phone boxes. A lot of those things provide, uh, you know, kind of habitat for field mice. And field mice are the vectors for tick-borne diseases, like, uh, you know, the, the different fevers and Lyme disease. So all of these things are not just a threat to the house, but to the health of the family. And so you want to be aware of what you can do to prevent all these problems. I mean, right now, one of the biggest health challenges we have is the Zika virus, which is carried by the mosquitoes. And so it isn't so much a question of just fixing the screens on the house, but making sure that your property is cleaned up so that you don't have any standing water, which is where mosquitoes lay their eggs. In as little as a half an inch of water, you could have a mosquito lay her eggs, and next thing you know, you got a hundred more mosquitoes. So patrol the area. Old toys, old spare tires, anything that can collect rainwater. In some cases, people will have a boat on a trailer. The boat can collect rainwater, so make sure the drains are free so that you don't have the problem there. And that's the, the key way to control the mosquitoes, not by spraying them, but by preventing them from getting born in the first place. One thing that we're having an issue with right now is stink bugs. Oh, well, oh, just a little know about stink. stink bugs. They stink. Just a little. Can I be honest with you? Can we, the three of us, just have a quick conversation about stink bugs? Yeah. I've never once smelled a stink bug. Because they only stink, I think, if you crush them. If you crush them. You pick them up, you take them outside, you let them go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let them go. I mean, they are not, as far as I know, a threat to the family's health. But if you want more information on stink bugs, you can come to pestworld.org and you can get, you know, not only information about all sorts of. Uh, Tests, but also referrals to professionals in your community that can help you deal with them. I had no idea we had this website. I'm bringing it up right now. Control if you want to take it. Well, there it is. Your partner in pest prevention, pestworld.org. That's pretty cool. That's it. Most, it most certainly yes. is. Well, that's excellent, Bob. Hey, listen. I want to thank you for being with us. It's always My it's, pleasure. it's always it's always great to see you. And and you know what. And they could have gotten anybody to do this live shot and they just said, well, here's the website, blah, blah, blah. But your expertise rolled out the cable and the phone. It's, I mean, I have, I have blocked up uh, avenues for cold air to be coming in in the winter. I've done almost everything you've ever suggested on, on your programs and, and online. I never once thought about the, the, those cable lines. Mm -hmm. I bet there's five of them in my house. Now you got to go and check on. Yeah, I do. Caulk up. Yeah, I do. Caulking gun, caulking gun. <laughs> caulking gun is right. Hey, listen, Bob, thanks so much for being with us, and you have a great spring season. Good luck with your home improvement projects. We'll see you later. Thanks so much. And I'm going to need all the luck I can get. Because you said you have five of them, you think? No, I no. The, the luck is not five. But, well, between the phones and everything, mm -hmm. the luck is my ability to rationally deal oh. with this. <laughs>